All right, here we have got an all new update for Samsung's Bixby routines, which is a fantastic feature offered by Samsung for automating your device's features. As you can see, the latest version here is 3.5.02.23. And in the change log, we have got some new feature additions or some new changes, which we are going to discuss in this video. Before we go ahead, I would like to let you know guys that I have already made a couple of useful videos on Bixby routines. I have talked about creating some useful routines in those videos. So go ahead and check them out. I will leave the links in the description for those videos. While you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Now let's break down all these features. Let me first take you through the change log. It says added flashlight turn off action. Second one is integrated conditions with receiving messages. Integrated conditions include sender and specific words. Added any notification to notification received condition. Added adaptive brightness action. Added a manual routine group widget. Added set running time to a manual routine. Added individual selection of reverse action. These are some important changes we have got with this all new update. Now let's take a look at the first one. We have flashlight turn off action. Now let's open Bixby routines. Let's go to settings, advanced features. We have Bixby routines here. Let me tap on this. I'll tap on add a routine and tap on plus button here. I'll go all the way down here to see routine plus where I've got button action. Now routine plus has to be installed on your phone through good lock to get this button action menu. You can set any other if conditions to turn on the flashlight. But for this example, I'm taking button action. I'll tap on volume down and leave the double press selection here, which means when I double press the volume down button, the flashlight will be turned off. I'll tap on done. Now in the then condition, I will select torch. I'll just search torch here. I'll select this, turn on. Now here you can see on this menu, we also have an option turn off. This wasn't there before. Before we had only turn on flashlight option. Now we get this pop up, which gives us an option of turning off the flashlight as well. I'll tap on done. Now this routine is to turn on the flashlight. Likewise, you can create a same routine to turn off the flashlight while selecting then condition, just select this all new option, turn off. That's the first change we have here. Now moving on to the next one, it says integrated conditions when receiving messages. Integrated conditions include sender and specific words. Now let's go to if condition again. I will scroll down here under event, we have got messages received option. I'll tap on this. As you can see here, we've got an all new section under messages. We have any messages or messages with specific keyword. So we can select messages with specific keyword to set a then condition for this particular routine. In the previous version, we only had from anyone from specific senders. Next one is adding any notification to notification received condition. Again, let's go back to if condition and tap on plus. Under event, let me select notification received. Here we can see an all new option now. Earlier we had notification with specific keyword only. Now we have an option to select any notification and then set the then condition. Now here I am not explaining how you can create routine using these conditions, but I'm only showing you what are the changes we have got in the if or in the then condition with this all new update. If you want to know how to create these routines, you can check out my other videos for which the links are in the description. Now let's move on to the next one. It says added adaptive brightness action. Let's open the add routine page. Now just to show you this new change, I will select any of the if conditions here. Let's say before bed, I'll tap on then condition. Now I'll tap on display. Now under display, we only had brightness option earlier for the then condition. Now we have got adaptive brightness as well. That's a cool addition indeed. Now let's move to the next one. It says added a manual routine group widget. This is an all new widget that we have for Bixby routine with this update. Let me show you that. Let's go to the home page. I will press and hold on the home page to add widgets. I'll tap on widgets here. Under Bixby routines, now you can see we have got two widgets. We have got a group widget as well. This group widget includes four different options morning music, meeting, open app, save battery. These are the manual routines that we can set and add this particular widget on the home screen to quickly access it. In the previous version, we only had one particular widget. All right, now the last change is added individual selection of reverse action. This is also a very important feature or a change that we have here on this update. Now we can select individual reverse action. Let me show you that. 
Let me select an if condition here. Let's say sleeping. I'll tap on then condition. Probably I will turn off the Wi-Fi and then I'll tap on another condition. Notifications do not disturb. I'll tap on done. Now we've got these two then conditions over here for sleeping. Now after this new update, what we can do is we can reverse these actions individually. As you can see here at the bottom, we have when routine ends, I can tap on this particular section and I can individually turn off these actions to reverse them. As you can see, we have Wi-Fi and do not disturb, which we have just set. And I have got these toggles to turn off to reverse these actions individually. If I want only the Wi-Fi to be reversed, I can turn this on. I can turn on do not disturb if I want only do not disturb to be reversed. Or if you want both, you can turn them on. By default, all the actions will be turned on. Depending on your preferences, you can turn them off. That is a fantastic feature we have. Now there is one feature mentioned in the change log. I was really not able to figure it out. It's about this all new option set running time to manual routine. Now when I tap on start manually, I don't see this then condition set running time. I searched a lot for this option, but I could not get this at all. Now, if you are able to figure this out, do let me know in the comment section below. These are the new cool features or new changes that we have got with this all new update. If you use Bixby routines more often, I'm sure you are going to like this update with these all new changes and features. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to smash that like button for this video. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.